Switching gears, the Brazos County Sheriff's Office is investigating the death of an inmate that was incarcerated at the Brazos County Detention Center. According to the Sheriff's Office, Melvin Earl Jones asked detention officers to see a doctor just before 6 this morning. He was taken to the jail's medical department and while in a holding cell, he collapsed. Jones went into cardiac arrest, was given CPR, but he later died at St. Joseph's Hospital. Right now, officials believe he died from natural causes, but the Sheriff's Office and Texas Rangers will conduct individual investigations. Since it is a death in custody, uh, we have uh, a number of statutory requirements. First of all, we have to report it to the jail commission, which we have done. Uh, we also have started our own internal investigation of the events that led up to the death. Uh, and that's ongoing. And then we've invited a Texas Ranger to join the investigation and do an independent investigation parallel to ours. Jones was 44 years old. He was in the Brazos County Jail for assaulting a public servant when he assaulted medical personnel in an emergency room. Sheriff Kirk says Jones was in a special housing unit because of mental health and personal safety concerns. In our continuing coverage, today's death in the Brazos County Detention Center and others like the death of Sandra Bland, while those are raising many questions about how inmates with mental illnesses are treated in jail. KAG's HD News reporter Alexandra Bush is outside the Brazos County Jail telling us Luke, how Luke, just Texas hours Lieutenant after Governor the inmate who had a mental illness died here at the Brazos County Jail, Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick announced a study will be done to help ensure the safety of those inmates, particularly the ones with mental illnesses. Since September, 29 inmates have committed suicide in Texas. None of those were here at the Brazos County Jail, but the two deaths, including today's, are under investigation. Lieutenant Governor Patrick, along with the number of state legislators, say that number of suicides is too high and action must be taken to make a change. I think we have an emergency. We don't have to wait for hearings or new laws or a new budget for the Jail Standards Commission. We can declare an emergency today, which in my opinion we're, we're in, and ask all the sheriffs of the state of Texas, all the jailers, all the police chiefs, to pause and review their best practices. There is a problem across this state where people in mental health crisis uh, don't have the alternatives they need for treatment within the communities and across the state. And so ultimately what ends up happening is they get arrested. A committee will begin public hearings in September where they will talk to legal, the legal community, sheriffs, jailers, and families of those who lost loved ones to suicide while in jail. Tonight at 10 p.m. we'll be talking to Sheriff Christopher Kirk about how the De Brazos County Detention Center deals with inmates with mental illnesses. We'll also be talking with him about what he hopes to see in the future. For now, live at the Brazos County Sheriff's Office, Alexandra Bush, back to you in the studio.